boy, oh boy, did the rumor spread and did they spread quick. Oh my gosh. I mean, there are already a bunch of people taking a lot of things as fact that haven't been proven official yet. But sometimes we do think about the things that recur in these rumors and speculations. And what I do mean is that the rumor of Fallout 76 being some sort of online, some sort of online multiplayer RPG, um, these were very spread thin when they first came out because it's only been, what, a few days since the official teaser reveal that Bethesda showed us on Twitch and it's not really unexpected to imagine these rumors coming out because there have been tons of rumors if you remember from before Fallout 4 years before Fallout 4 and just about half if not more were proven false but in this case we are not being given a fallout 4 situation where it is years and years before we get an official tease by bethesda we got this tease very randomly it was before e3 but we did not really expect any new fallout content for a while now and now that we are given some it is pretty apparent that the rumors are flying and honestly i do enjoy the rumors i revel in the rumors i love the speculation because i do love exploring and imagining what this game could be about but of course people are coming to conclusions already about what this game's going to be about what we're going to see in this game and I just cannot take that um, very seriously but there has been this very very recurring theme that I'm noticing on every facet of Fallout on the internet and it is that this Fallout game Fallout 76 is supposed to be some sort of online or co-op or even MMO which I doubt but hey, whatever, uh, it's, it's whatever anybody thinks. I'm not going to believe any of it until the fat lady sings because Bethesda has done this before. Bethesda is known for keeping their secrets very, very tightly. And I don't think they're going to let too much get out because I'm sure they increased security since Fallout 4. And so far, it seems the only thing we got right about the Fallout 4 speculation is that it was going to take place in Boston, and those rumors stretched back years before Bethesda even acknowledged the existence of another Fallout game. In this case, this is a very short time until we get to see another reveal, and it is going to be at E3, obviously. Bethesda always surprises us at E3, and I just... I just can't really believe the rumors right now 110% like a lot of people are. It's um, way too early, obviously. But again, there have been leaks and rumors out there, and I will humor the online rumors of Fallout 76 being some sort of online co-op or uh, definitely not an MMO. I mean, I don't really think Fallout 76 that's just too much on a game like that. And of course, people are bringing the Fortnite things in with the Battle Royale. Nobody is trying to play Battle Royale in Fallout. I just, that doesn't make any sense. But I do want to explore something, and it is the rumor of the MMO theory. And I just had this idea, and I wanted to share it. And please, for God's sakes, do not believe what I am saying. This is just an idea that I am pitching with myself here. And it is that we know that Vault 76 was a control vault with 500 people in it, no more. And I was wondering if this were an MMO, what if that meant that each server begins with 500 players and you leave the vault with only 500 people in the open world, everything else is NPC and everything much like the previous fallouts we have played. I don't know, that's the only way I could see it working if it were some sort of MMO because Fallout is not known for having extremely populated maps and populated open worlds. So I was wondering if it were even like an MMO, would it be acceptable to have only 500 people in the game world so you don't have to worry about overcrowding and taking away from the wasteland feel that Fallout really gives us. Uh, putting that atrocity aside, I want to ask you guys, um, what do you think a Fallout with some sort, big or small, of multiplayer features could work? because it is a very recurring theme, as I've said, and th this is all coming, I believe, from a 4chan or Reddit post, because that is where the leaks are. They are always on those sites. One of them, if not both, 
and it has caused quite a stir in the Fallout community. I've been addressing it on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, asking questions, and I, of course, where I get my most feedback is from Instagram, so when I ask my followers, I get pretty um, animated responses there. A lot of people are saying, oh, this is official, Fallout's ruined, or oh, this is just totally done, or just, oh, Bethesda has totally destroyed their series. Even though I mentioned that this is not official news, I was just asking what if, you know, and so people don't seem to register that. They just see Fallout emboldened and online emboldened, and this is just the reality of things. People will not listen, but hey, I did get a lot of really decent responses when I asked these questions, and I'll read one of the first ones here for you. It says, Bethesda, please know online what makes the Fallout series unique and unbeatable is the quality of lore, the attention given to the details, the inventivity of the devs, and the fact that we can take game-changing decisions even if I know it won't happen, please don't ever fall in the trendy shit to please some 11 year old kids who wouldn't appreciate what I mentioned earlier and lose a great part of our community. Thanks for the incredible games and hours spent on them. While my friend up here says, it excites me, I like to keep an open mind. I mean, it's just one game. If it's bad, it's bad. At the end of the day, it's just a game and I'm sure it will be fun. See, I need to start thinking like that because sometimes I will take things at face value and I will not look into it and I will all of a sudden get very, very worried and I won't look into the facts. So it is good to break away from that. And I do like to look now into the good of things rather than the bad because even when I heard the rumors first when Fallout was supposed to be all online this fallout 76 i honestly wasn't freaking out i really wasn't i was ready for a change and it doesn't have to be a huge change but you know i'm up for it i keep an open mind and i'm not going to judge it before the fat lady sings so again guys please please keep an open mind stay away from the trolls stay away from the rumors this is a very exciting time and the last thing i want you to do for yourself is ruin it for yourself because it's just, this is a rare occasion. It could be a bad fallout, who knows? But again, you have to keep an open mind because honestly, there, uh, look at it this way. A new Assassin's Creed was announced. You're going to be in ancient Greece, right? Um, a lot of people were freaking out saying that Assassin's Creed is overdone. And if it's not like Origins, then it's going to suck. Well, do you know what I say to them? I say, I'm still going to buy that anyway. <laughs> it could be just like the other Assassin's Creed. I'm still going to buy this game anyway, because just because I love Assassin's Creed and I have a, a very weak spot for history. So that is just what I think about that. But again, it is your opinion. It is what matters. And I do want to hear from you guys in the comments because I am a very community oriented guy and I love hearing back what you guys have to say. And it does give me ideas for or new videos to come out with. And as you can see, I have not posted so frequently on my channel before, and I hope this is the kickoff to hopefully something we can make special together. So this is Atomic Wolf, and I will get back to you with other amazing Fallout 76 facts, rumors, speculations, and I will be here once E3 lets us know what's in store for us, really. So in the meantime, while you wait, give my Fallout radio station, A Bomb Radio, a try at abomradio.com and also give my Fallout radio show, True Vault Escapades and The Strip, a try. They are great ways to wait out the hype train. Links in the description and I will see you guys next time.